Hi guys, it's Kiara Marie here at the Sunglass Spot headquarters. I filmed a fall glam makeup tutorial and I also showed you guys my top 5 clear sunglasses picks, so stay tuned to see and I hope you guys enjoy. So I already did one eye off camera and I'm going to start with my brows for my left eye and for my brows I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown and I'm just going to be filling them in. So next to carve out my eyebrows, I'm going to be taking my favorite drugstore concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and I'm just going to be carving out my brows with a Morphe E43 brush. my eyebrows I'm gonna take the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara and we're just gonna set them in place. To prime my lids we're gonna be taking the same Wet n Wild concealer and I'm just gonna be blending that in. And to set that in place I'm gonna be setting it with the YC Collection uh, powder and this has no flashback which is so amazing and I love to use it when I bake as well. So what I do is I just take my beauty sponge, this is from Real Techniques and I'm just going to be kind of pressing this onto my lids to make sure that everything is nice and set. So for eyeshadow today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I love this palette, it smells so good and the colors are so pigmented. So for the transition I'm going to be taking Puree and I'm just going to be putting this into my crease to get ready for the darker shadows. <laughs> So for the outer V, I'm going to be taking Summer Yum and I'm going to be putting this on the ends of my eyes and then I'm going to be cleaning it up with concealer so that it looks nice and sharp. To darken up the look even more, I'm going to be taking the shade Charmed, I'm sure, and these names are so cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to be darkening up the shadow, kind of making it more like fall vibes and keep blending. Blending is the key to this look. So to darken up the look even more, we're going to take this, it's kind of like a dark gray shimmery shade and it's called Tempting. We're going to put this on the outer V and just basically in the crease. Now to clean that up, we're going to go back in with the same concealer and I'm just going to be doing a straight line. So after that is the fun part, we're going to be taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal uh, glitter liner in Midnight Cowboy and I think this is definitely what makes the look pop. So to define the glitter a little bit more, I'm going to be taking this really, really precise brush and some concealer. We're just going to be cleaning up. Now with my finger, I'm just going to be taking the shade Nectar and I'm going to be putting this on my brow bone and my inner corner. To prep my lashes for falsies, I'm going to be taking the Koki um, Professional Mascara and I love this mascara. It's super good for lengthening. 
So I'm just going to be doing one coat on my lashes and then we're going to be applying some of my favorite lashes. If you struggle with putting false lashes, what I usually do is just wait for the glue to get tacky and then slowly apply them. Tweezers help too. So now we are done with my false lashes. For the uh, lower lash line, we're going to be using Puree, Summer Yum, and Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm going to be taking that on this M508 brush. Now that the eyes are completely done, I'm going to do my base. And for my favorite foundation, I love the LA Girl Pro Coverage. I do have a foundation routine up, so I will have that listed down below if you guys want to see that. But first thing I'm going to do is prime and set um, with my Morphe makeup setting spray. And I use this as a primer. So now that I have my face on, we can go ahead and start with bronzer and blush and all of that good stuff. But I wanted to mention some of the products that I use anyways. So for under the eyes, I love a bright under eye. So I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in light yellow and this just totally opens up the face. And then to set uh, everything in place, I used my YC Collection Loose Powder. Like I said, this is one of my favorite powders. It's kind of a banana shade, so there's absolutely no flashback, and it's very, very good, and it makes your face look seamless. So, now for bronzing, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Powder, and this is in medium beige. I love using this as a bronzer, so we're going to take this Morphe E4 brush. For blush, I'm going to take this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour and Glisten and I'm going to be taking that on a Makeup Shack brush. Now for my highlight, I'm super excited to try the Fenty Beauty highlighters. So I'm actually going to mix these two because I know that Trophy Wife is a little bit too yellow for my skin tone. So I'm going to be taking Hustla Baby and Trophy Wife mixed together and we shall see how this goes. And to make my highlight more intense, I have to of course take my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm going to spray my brush. Let's drive around town on two hands And you need to know you're the only So now to finish off this look, of course, we have to do a dark lip. So I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is in Club Hopper. To finish off this gorgeous fall look, we're going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter once again and making sure that this stays in place. So clear glasses are actually a staple in my fall wardrobe because they show off your makeup and I always love doing glam looks and I love showing it off but still wearing glasses at the same time because it just makes your outfit so much better. So I'm going to be showing you guys my five top picks and let's get started. Mad woman, you get close to me. Slow dance these summer nights. I just go balls my kitchen. And you need to know that nobody can take your place. Your place. And you need to know that I'm hella obsessed with your face. Your face. Oh, my heart is so good. So that is the completed fall look and I am wearing one of Sunglass Spot's new sunglasses and I love these so much because like I said I can showcase my glam but still have a very nice accessory. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will link everything down below as well as sunglass spots so you can check out their sunglasses and all the products I use. 